Okay, guys, I am restarting the stream. It's still... Okay, it looks like I have a better connection now. All right, welcome to The Sims 2 Test of Time Challenge. I'm going to start the video playback from this moment on. I just... We just started. Nothing happened. But for some reason, Twitch is screwing up and I had to restart the stream. Looks like I have a good connection now. So, are, is everybody here? Is everything good? I have, a, I have green bars. Everything looks good. For a minute there, it was in the yellow, but now it looks good. So just, yeah, restart. Let me put that in the chat. Um, refresh the page or whatever. I'm back. I'm back, baby. All right. So we are here in the Test of Time Challenge. We're going to be playing the Drinks Family, which I just loaded up. It looks like Cold Drinks is ready to have another baby. And you know what? She's going to get her wish today. <laughs> And let's see, we've got hot drinks. He wants to woohoo, so he wants to woohoo. She wants to have a baby, so they're going to be trying for baby, which they may have already done. I don't remember if we did it the last time we played them. Probably not, since it's 12.54 a.m. here. We are on fourth summer, so we're going to be playing this family for four days. And right now, we have two children. We have little Luke drinks right here. Now, he's going to age up to a child in one day, so we're going to have another child here. Now, I did download a mod so that children can hopefully get um, bottles from the fridge. I hope it works out. And then they also have a little baby little cocoa drinks over here. So, they have a boy and a girl in this household. Is everybody back? Your cousin's pregnant with baby number eight. Oh, my God. That's rough. <laughs> You're good? Okay. Hello, Snowy Oreo. Alright, so we're just gonna start playing then. I don't know what's been going on with Twitch lately. Now it's showing in the yellow. Oh, I hope it doesn't screw up our stream today. Okay, the baby's out here getting rained on. Now this family does have a little shack for the parents to sleep on, but the babies are sleeping outside. And now Coco needs attention, so let's wake somebody up. Who? Okay, she's more well-rested, so I'm gonna wake her up. And get her to come out here. Alright, good. I'm glad everything's fixed. Come on, get out here and take care of the baby before it gets hit by lightning. Struck. Oh no, you stink. I know you do. Come on. So it's more chaos than the Test of Time Challenge. And I'm just wondering, why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to myself? Cuddle Coco. Uh, Alright, feed baby. Okay, she's feeding her on her own. <laughs> And this family does not have a shower or a waterfall. They only have 48 simoleons. So I just want to check really quick. See how much it would cost us to get the... Oh, it only cost one simoleon to get them a waterfall. So we may do that. Because they can shower in it and they can cool down in it. Because it's just too much. It is just too much. The test of sanity challenge. Exactly. That's what it is. This is worse than the grunts by far. Yeah, it definitely is. Because at least they had modern amenities. This family, we got nothing. We got nothing but the rain and the wind and the land. 60 miles per hour wind where you are? Oh, I gotta hydrate. Let me hydrate for you, sweet Gallo 7. Your Sims 4 Sims sometimes do nothing, just stand there. Is it just you? I don't know. Probably not. Um, you did not miss anything. We just got started. So she's feeding the baby. Then she's going to cuddle the baby. Put Coco in the in the bed. And then she needs to go to the bathroom. We do not need this potty chair. Because we don't need to potty train our toddlers. It actually hurts us to do that. Because then we can't give them... We can't increase their hygiene. Nope. Nothing's happened. That spiteful cat. Uh, I think you probably need some mods to help with that issue with The Sims 4. Just standing around like some autonomy mods. Okay, come on. Come on. Hurry up. Wait, where's the kid? Where's Luke? Oh, he's about to go in his diaper, which is good because then we can increase his hygiene. He's just back there playing in a puddle. Don't mind him. The baby's just out there playing in a mud puddle. Nobody cares. Nobody cares! Alright, come on. Get done. Get done. Okay, now, now she needs her diaper changed. Okay, alright. Change the diaper. 
She's got to go to the bathroom first. She stinks so bad. She's going to change the diaper. And then, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and put a waterfall in. I'm not even messing around with it. We're putting a waterfall in. Hello, Carrie Unicorn. Yeah, toddlers had to find some way to entertain themselves back then. Playing in a puddle, I guess, is better than... Oh, no. Now this kid stinks. Jeez. Okay, you got to get up. Dad has got to get up. So, he is a knowledge sim and she is a family sim. Which, they make a really good couple. But you need to come out here and change the baby's diaper, alright? You gotta help out. Hot. Hot drinks. Hot drinks is hot. Hello to Germany. <laughs> yeah, nothing has happened other than me assuring you that you didn't miss anything. <laughs> Better than playing in a pile of shit. I guess so. <laughs> Okay, let me check on the little ones. He's all right, let's get him a bottle. Get bottle for Luke, and then you need to get some food too. And I don't know how much food they have in the fridge. Also, let's check their inventories just to see. Okay, we have some papayas we can sell here. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do the waterfall right now. Like, we're not even messing around with this because I am so tired of the heat strokes all over the place. Now, I know I have to do... I did figure out how to do this last time. Oops, what am I doing? Terrain. Nope. Terrain. There it is. I don't want to flatten lot. I want to lower the terrain. Right here-ish. I don't know. That doesn't look right. So now i got to move this up. Ugh. Okay, not quite right. I, it took me forever to figure this out last time. Because they have to be able to walk into it. Okay, that's just not gonna work. Hold on, let me just start over. Let me start over. One, two, three, three clicks down. And there. Now, can they walk into it? That is the question. So we're gonna have somebody try it out. Hold. Get over here and go take a shower. Let's see if she can get into it or not. <laughs> All right, come on, get in. You can do it. Is it, ah, crap. Yes, I think it's working. Yes, yes, okay. Yeah, we got it. So that's all I have to do. I need to do that on the community bathing lot too. But anyway, we've got ourselves a way for them to shower, a way for them to cool down. So everyone's not going to die of heat stroke this time. Thank goodness. We got a babby on the ground. We got a dirty diaper. Okay, when you get done eating, you're perfectly fine. So you can clean this up. And we're going to have a child soon, which is going to be very helpful. Someday I'll share the bathing lot. <laughs> Someday I will. All right, after I fix it. She's experiencing euphoria in that shower. She definitely is. She's like, oh, this is fantastic. I've got my own source of water where I can cool down and bathe. A waterfall, a waterfall just spawned on their lot. It's a miracle. It's a miracle from the gods. <laughs> You'll be waiting then, I know, I'm sorry. Uh, clean this up and then put the baby in the crib. And then what's wrong with this kid? Oh, he needs sleep, okay. And then put Luke in the crib and then you guys are about to get down to business. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, she's gotta eat first. She's gotta eat first, then it's business time. No, don't stuff your face. Don't stuff your face, get leftovers. We got plenty of bass in there. Get your bass. The watcher hath blessed them. Yes, it is a gift from the watcher. All right, go get your, go get in bed. Put the kids to bed and then go get in bed. Aw, thank you so much, Mrs. Ploppy, for the prime sub, I really appreciate that. She's gonna shove this bass down her throat. I think that's bass, isn't it? Oh no, that's roast, because he went hunting and he caught an he caught a animal. I don't know, an elk? He killed an elk. Not you. You come over here. Alright, everybody's okay for the moment. They're about to try for baby again. Aw, thank you so much, your soul Kate, for gifting a sub to Pleasantina. Thank you. I got my coffee here today. Got my water. Got all my beverages. Ready for a stream. Ready for a two-hour stream. She is the chief. She's a warrior. As you can tell. She's our she's our warrior. 
But she also wants to have a baby, so that's what we're about to do. We're at least gonna try. So this is their try for baby for Wednesday. <laughs> Hello, medieval simmer. Woo! There they go. The kids are asleep outside, no longer being rained on, thank goodness. And I don't know, why did I move this over here? I don't know. Move it back by the trash fire. Oh, trash fire, not pyre. Trash fire. Uh, thank you so much, Kaizak1993, for the Prime sub. I really appreciate that. Oh, I gotta ask me anything. So, Mike says you have to give up one thing for the rest of your life. Showering, cutting your toes or fingernails, or brushing your teeth. What is your choice? My choice would definitely be cutting my toenails and fingernails. Because they'll break off eventually, but at least I'll be clean and my teeth won't rot out. You know? That was an easy choice for me. <laughs> okay, hot drinks. What are you up to, my friend? Get over here and go to the bathroom. And also, did I give them their points? I just want to make sure. No, he's got another one we can give him. And she's got another one we can give her. Those are going to be very helpful for us. The kids are still asleep. And Cold is asleep, and Hot is getting up to do his business. So he's gonna go to the bathroom. He's gonna he's gonna get to take his first shower over here in the new waterfall. <laughs> Does cutting your toe fingernails also include biting? Yes. You cannot purposely cause them to break or fall off. I would still choose that. Still choose that definitely. I uh, thank you so much, Hilly Cruz, for the two months at Tier One. Thank you so much. Open toed shoes only. <laughs> you just have your big old talons hanging out. I don't know. My toenails never get that long. Like, they always break off if I don't clip them. I try to keep them clipped, but you know. Hot drinks really get you go. Oh, is it lagging again? Dang it. Sorry, I'm dropping frames. Dang it, Twitch! I can't just keep, like, restarting the stream, because then I'll never be able to play this one back. Okay, it's back. It's back. It says it's back. Alright. Okay, hot drinks here. He's gotta get the water out of his ear. He got some water stuck in his ear there. <laughs> Ah, it keeps dropping. It keeps dropping. Maybe turn your uh, quality down for the moment. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Twitch has been giving me issues for the last couple days. Yesterday was fine, but Friday we had a lot of problems, too. Uh, thank you so much, Melancholic Ovoid, for the 25 months at Tier 1. Jeez, thank you so much. Okay, it says it's back now. I'm sorry, y'all. It keeps going in and out. If you're having an issue, maybe try to turn the quality settings down. Uh, hey, Beaky, Beaky, Beaky. So glad you're here. All right, now, what are we up to today? Hold is still sleeping, so we don't know if she's prego yet. Of course, she wants to talk and entertain and play with. Like, we have time for that. We ain't got time to talk and entertain and play with people. We've got, we've got work to do. We gotta survive. I have the best internet that I can possibly get in my area, so that's why I don't think it's me. I have the highest speed, best quality internet I could possibly get here. I think it's Twitch. Um, <laughs> you're coming at me with a better would you rather? Okay, bring it on. <laughs> the Twitch, the dropped frames keep going in and out, y'all. I'm so sorry. Uh, thank you so much, Ddoodle02, for the tier one sub. I really appreciate that, too. Your providers need a bit of better internet? I guess so. Um, I have the best, highest quality cable internet I could get. Okay, hot drinks. Um, let's see. We will get you to go... I guess you can go... F you know what? Let's have him go hunting right now. While everybody's doing all right for the moment, let's have him go hunting. See if he can catch us some more food. And then when Cold wakes up, the baby just woke up. Eh. Okay, he's doing all right, though. So, Cold, we, we're going to wake her up since it's already 949 and get her to kind of clean up the old homestead here a little bit. Hello, honey bunches. 
Hello, Sawaii. Um, dispose of this. Just get rid of all this dirty crap, please. And then if the babies don't need anything, we'll have her do a little fishing. Now, I am going to have to have them go to the bathing lot occasionally, though, just so that they can harvest and, like, maybe talk to other sims. There's Nut Tiny Leaf over here. Looks like our garden needs to be tended as well. Actually, don't fish. Let's tend the garden. Let's tend the garden. So we got a sickly tomato plant over here. And oh, just nice. just tend all tend to all the plants this, today. We got to keep our crops going. Come on, and then you can fish after that unless one of the kids needs something. Her hunger's going down really fast. I'm noticing. Hello, Case Simley. Mm. Mm. Yeah, her, uh, her hunger's going down, so I'm thinking she might be prego. Hello, Woody Longtrunk. How are you, my friend? Just walking by, stopping by, looking good today. <laughs> yeah, they're still going to go over there, just so they can talk to other Sims, meet other Sims, and... Although they don't really have time to socialize. They're basically just going over there to harvest so they can earn a little bit of money. I used to have the Turbo Driver Simulation Unclogger, and it worked really well for me. I don't think I've tried the Seriously Sims one. So, I don't know. Maybe somebody who's tried both in the chat can tell you. You swapped a desktop, and it's okay. It looks like um, everything's smooth now. I have, like, full connection now, so it should be working for everybody. I don't know what's up with Twitch this morning. Uh, oh, is she coming to take care of the baby? She's going to feed the baby, I think. Yeah. She's going to nurse the baby. And I'm so excited because today, little Luke is turning to a child, which is going to be so helpful. And he's... Is he sunburnt? Is he hot? Yeah. Oh my god, he's going to have a heat stroke. How can we cool the baby down? He needs to go inside. So what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to move his toy inside for the time being... I'm going to take this lamp out of here uh, for now and we'll put his little toy over here and he can sit there in the dark or actually we'll just move the lamp right here nobody needs to use it right now and then he can go inside and play with his little toy so that he's not overheating go inside Luke go inside oh thank you so much Michelle JPG for the uh prime sub I appreciate that so much thank you uh, Sammy says turbos. So, yeah, that's the one I used to use, and it worked really well. I have not uh, used it recently, but I probably need to put it back in my game. I've mostly just been working on my save file, so I haven't been playing that much in The Sims 4. Um, I <coughs> oh, excuse me. I have seen the new kits, yes, and I really like the goth one. I like the castle one too, but I don't know what use I would have for it right now. Um, but I like, I really like the goth one. I'll probably get that one for sure. Does giving them a bottle help? I don't know. Okay, she's done feeding the babby. So let's uh, give her a little, give her a little cuddle, put her in the crib. And then let's go get her some food. I don't know if she, it would be a miracle. Oh, actually don't put her in the crib. It's time to change your diaper. Uh, change diaper, then put her in the crib, and then go and get yourself some leftovers, and then clean up this diaper. Aw, yeah, that's so nice. Tramp94 says, yay, just came online to see someone gifted me a sub yesterday. Thank you so much, just Ollie92. I'm so happy. <laughs> Have I seen the bug with the no, new Create a Sim kit? No, I haven't. The goth one came broken to no one's surprise. One of the clothes messes up the Sim's eyes. Really? Maybe that'll be an easy fix. Because I really wanted that one. Damn it, I hope they fix it. I really wanted that one. Um. Oh yeah, Beaky 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 says, I was very happy we'd get four to two conversions of the goth fashion. That's true. It changes the eyes? How does it change the eyes? Now I gotta get that kit and do a review of it. Okay, Mike says, you wanted a harder one. Would you rather stick a toothpick under your big toe's toenail and kick a wall? Or have to sit in a very small room filled with 1,000 spiders for an hour? 
That is an impossible choice, Mike. That is impossible. I will look at it. It makes the eyes big and round. Wow. I don't even know how that's even possible. Ooh, he a successful hunt. He got a rabbit. Which will provide one serving of stew. Well, he brought home a little a little bit of stew. You know, that's alright. It was a successful hunt. And it's the best we can ask for. Let's have him go prepare this stew. Because uh, he's hungry and he's going to eat it. He's like, I brought home some stew, guys. But only enough for me. Okay? Only enough for me to eat. You guys get nothing. <laughs> I am terrified of spiders. And also, I hate pain. So, I don't know. I'd probably take the pain, honestly, because spiders are like one of my top fears. Spiders and heights. Can't do either one. Uh, yes, this is the Stone Age, baby. <laughs> You'd choose the spiders too, not me. I mean, that's an impossible choice, and I hope I'm never in a position in my life where I would have to make such a choice. <laughs> No one said you couldn't have a tin of hairspray and a lighter. Blowtorch! I'll blowtorch all you bastards! <laughs> the spiders, not not my audience. <laughs> Alright, well enjoy your stew that you just brought home only for yourself, hot. Oh my god. Why is it always sunny in this neighborhood? Because it's, it's uh, prehistory and they have to be able to grow their crops. <clears throat> they would die if we had winter. Um, you get dizzy just by hanging clothes to dry from the second floor. I can't. I can't do heights of any kind. All right, the toddler needs his diaper changed. So where is Cold? She is in the bathroom. When she gets, is she puking? No, she's just using the bathroom. Okay, she hasn't really shown any signs of pregnancy, y'all. Uh, we need to change the ba the baby's diaper. It would be crazy if she went if she didn't get pregnant. It keeps holding uh, comments for saying the words "bite you." <laughs> you added a spring season to yours, so they get rain. Yeah, I think stream would spring would be okay. Maybe I should do spring summer spring summer. <laughs> Cindy threatens to blow torch her audience. <laughs> She puked? She did? I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. I missed her puking. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze, but I can't. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. Yeah, maybe I should do spring, summer, spring, summer. She is dying of heat stroke, so let's go get her to cool down in the water now. She's doing okay, besides that. The age span, they just have a normal lifespan. Oh my god, did you just fall asleep in your- Oh, he's falling asleep in his stew. Get up, get up, get in here and take a nap. Get in here and take a nap, sir. You're exhausted from hunting that rabbit down all day. <laughs> I tried looking into the light, that's what I was doing, but I still didn't speak. Okay, so cold. She is taking her shower. He is sleeping. There's Arrow. Hello, Arrow. He's like, hey, looking good over there in the in the water. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should do spring, summer, spring, summer. I, I think that's a good idea. Oh, look at our crops, though. Our crops are coming along nicely. I wonder if they're ready to harvest. Yes. So when cold gets done cooling down, she's going to come over here and harvest radishes. Going to harvest some strawberries. And that's it. Everything else, our tomato plant is still sickly. But we have a couple things to harvest, at least. Yeah, I love The Sims 2 animations, like sleeping in the food, too. <laughs> I live in a place where we have two different dangerous spiders here. We have um, Brown Recluse and Black Widow. So, and I've seen so many of those in my lifetime around here. Like, they are around here. And they're scary. My daddy got bit by a brown recluse one time. It was in his shoe. So, I always, to this day, shake out my shoes before I put them on. Because I'm terrified there's going to be a poisonous spider in there. 
Um, hello, Llama Face. I hope you're having a great weekend, too. And then we also have, like, two different kinds of venomous snakes here. So we have the copperhead, which is probably the most common. And they, you can see them out in the woods and stuff. Sometimes they'll even come, like, close to your property, like, close to your house and stuff. One time I saw one coiled up in the corner of our carport when I was a little kid. And I just walked right by it. And thank God it didn't bite me. And then we also have water moccasins, which are snakes that they, they, are, they only live in the water. And they are scary. They can swim super fast. So every time like we, I go swimming in the summer in the creeks and lakes, I'm always on the lookout for, for water moccasins. And supposedly we have rattlesnakes here, but I've never seen one. Coco's birthday is only a day away. Is Luke about to age up? He should be about to age up. Right now, right? Yes. Becomes a child in zero days. A brown recluse bite destroyed your grandpa-in-law's spine? Oh, here he goes, y'all. Here he goes. We've got a child. Yay! Oh, Look at... Look at Luke. Wait, why is Luke... That's a weird... Why is he wearing that outfit? Okay, that's cool. I feel like that's a little girl's outfit he's wearing. <laughs> Luke. Aww. He's so cute. Look at him with his little red hair and his little brown eyes. He wants to be a girl. I love it. Non-binary Luke. I love it so much. Aww. He's so cute. I love it. Uh, it bit him deep right over his spine. Oh my god, spiteful cat. <laughs> First prehistoric sim to serve the house down. <laughs> yes. I love them too. <laughs> Yay, little Luke. All right. So I don't know if that, maybe that's his sleep outfit. Or, because it looks like, here, let me see. Um, I gotta get a sim blender real quick. Appearance, Luke, clothing, casual. Oh, nope, he's still wearing- I love it! I love this for him! Or for them, I'm sorry, I should call him them. <laughs> I should call them them. Oh my god, I'm fucking it up already. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta hydrate like nine minutes ago. Let me hydrate. Um, yes, the gender preference will be selected upon when he ages up to a teen. When that, when any of my Sims age up to a teen. Uh, oh, I got a screenshot. Yes, let's get a screenshot. I love the look at the little stole. <laughs> look at the little stole around the shoulders. That is so cute. Yeah, Luke doesn't care. Oh my god, it's too cute. It's too cute. I can't stand it. He, they. He'll be he, that he slash they. Because I'm gonna see, I'm gonna keep screwing it up. Um, I use uh, ACR that, and it automatically chooses gender preference, which I don't think I have that set here. Let me make sure I have that set. Let's do, um, uh, not you, you. Adjust. I can't do it on you. Hold on. Adjust. Casual romance. Spawn adjuster. And let's just make sure. Gender preference. Um, hood wide settings. Global switches. Global defaults. Gender preference targets. Ooh, timer multiplier needs to be on four. I haven't even set. I've never set this up before. Hood wide settings. Global defaults. Risky is 15. That's fine. We no, we don't do risky, woohoo. Gender preference targets. Where do I need to go? Hold on. Sim settings. Hood wide settings. Global switches. Oh, here it is. Uh, auto gender preference is enabled. Okay, it is enabled. So whenever they turn into teens, it will just automatically uh, choose their gender preference and it will tell us what it is. So... Okay, let me get, let me delete adjuster. <laughs> Ayo, 
Oh, I just decided to leave it on one? Okay, thank you. Oh, let me save game two. Somebody said I just decided... Uh, on her own says I just decided to leave it on one. Yeah, because they need to be doing it all the time anyway. Mmm. Thank you so much, Rad Pixies, for the 100 bits. Thank you. And I saved. I did my screenshot. And now let's take care of little Loop. He is our special boy. And we need to take care of him. He is exhausted. So we need to get a little lean-to for him. Hopefully we can afford that. Uh, where's the lean-to? Yes. We're getting him a lean-to so he can sleep outside here. Outside the hut. So go get yourself some sleep, buddy. Okay? I, I'm starting to think that Cold did not get Prego, but they're not going to try again until tomorrow. I don't know. Her energy and hunger is going down. And somebody said she puked. I didn't see it, but somebody said she puked. Luke needs fun, but he also needs sleep. What? You don't like the lean-to? Well, too bad. You better make more money. <laughs> and what are you gagging? Does he stink or something? Oh yeah, he stinks. He's going to take a shower in the waterfall though. This waterfall idea is great. Hendrick gave me the idea for the waterfall and it's a wonderful idea. Because at first I was trying to make it, it was just too hard without putting the waterfall in their lot. It was just too hard. Yeah, they walk through it. Yeah, I've noticed that too. Um, yeah, she needs to go get some, they need to go get some papayas. I'm gonna have her clean this up and then she needs to eat some more. Oh, and also we had some stuff to sell. So we need to keep the squash, the radishes we can sell. The strawberries, I'm gonna keep that for berry oatmeal. So I'll also have her stock the fridge after she eats. Somebody's gonna need to clean or cook eventually. If the If they have a shower, then they don't need the waterfall. Or maybe they still do, because I don't think the shower actually cools them down. I think the waterfall is better than the shower. Because they can cool down and take a shower in it. And it just kind of fits the fits the time period more. So I think the families with the shower, I'll sell the shower and give them the waterfall. And then, yeah, somebody needs to go harvest. So maybe we'll have him go over and harvest. Uh, who's that? Oh, Maple. Maple's about to pop, y'all. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have him run over to the bathing lot real quick. Walk to lot, community lot, and so he can harvest. I'd like to have somebody go, like, once a day at least. Because I feel like now the families that have... He just walked right through the rock. He's a shapeshifter. I feel like now the families that, that have these waterfalls are kind of at a disadvantage because they don't have to go to the bathing lot so they don't get a chance to harvest as often. Um, he is, yes, they're going to have as many children as they can possibly have. That's the whole point of this um, time period, is for them to produce as many children as possible to populate mm -hmm. the world. So they try for baby every single day. Unless she's already pregnant. And now that we're here, we're going to go gather papayas. And we're going to gather some coconuts. We're going to gather a lovely bunch of coconuts. Whew, Misha. Yes, I. somebody commented about the cold, hot and cold showers mod. I just saw this comment and I was like, I've got to get that. I need to add that to my list. But actually, if I have the waterfalls, I don't really need it. I think I'm just going to use the waterfalls instead. Yes, fishing is also a great way to earn money. That is true. It's probably better than the gathering. I don't know if it's better than gathering, actually. Okay, now that he's done that, he's going to go immediately back home. Walk to Lot home. He didn't talk to anybody while he was here. Who's this over here? Raven and Arrow are over here in the hot tub. The hot springs, I mean. But see, while you're here, the other, the other sims will be hanging out with each other. So you give them the opportunity to talk and meet each other while your sims are here. That pit stinks. <laughs> um, no, I have not looked at similar 90s gameplay core mods for The Sims 3. I have not. No, I haven't looked at any new Sims 3 mods in a while. I didn't even know that was the thing. Once they have a golden fishing badge, they can live in a prehistoric mansion. <laughs> oh. 
Now, what is wrong with her? What is wrong with you now? Oh, she wants to flirt. She's exhausted. That's what's wrong. Um, you know what? No, why don't you just go to sleep? Just go to sleep. Don't, don't, you don't have to nap on the bench. Go to sleep. How's our little Coco doing? Coco's gonna be a toddler in one day, so that's also gonna be sucky. Toddlers are the worst, I think, in this game. I think babies and children are much better. It has a, um, second hand says that Sims 3 mod is massive and fixes a ton of issues, but also has a lot of mod conflicts. Oh, that sucks. What's the point of setting a Twitch reminder if it doesn't remind you? I don't know. I'm sorry it doesn't remind you. Okay, now she's got to get back up. Oh, he's here now. Let dad take care of it. Uh, oh, she's got to get up. She's got to nurse the baby. So she's got to get up and come nurse the baby. Get up. Get up. Nurse Coco. Hot, what are you doing? Washing dishes, thank you very much. But why don't you use the turlet? Get yourself some leftovers. Oh, let's sell what he harvested. So we will sell all these papayas. And we will sell all these coconuts. And that gives them a little bit more money. They're just kind of saving up money at this point until they can expand the shack. Yeah, the hot cold shower mod, I wonder if it impacts the... I guess it would impact the waterfall. I'm not sure if it works on the waterfall or not. But you can come here and cool down, so... I'm alright with it. Wash your long man. Um, it's 9.53 p.m., so I guess eat this bass. Somebody needs to fish, because we're almost out of fish, and they're just going to be eating gruel all the time. Uh, their aspirations are knowledge and family. So he's a knowledge and she's a family. You get notifications about my streams every day, and then you check and I'm not streaming? That is weird. Um, I'm, I've been streaming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's probably what I'm going to continue to do for the time being. You had bass for dinner, really? Okay, let's check in on Luke. How's our little Luke doing? He's going to clean. Oh, let's look at his personality, too. So he's super outgoing. I love that. But he's quite serious, though. He's super outgoing, but he's quite serious. He's pretty active as well. And he is a an Aries. All right. So he's going to be... What does that make him? Hold on. Um... That makes him popularity. Of course he's going to be popularity. I love that. Okay, Hot. Um, you need to go to bed. You need to change this baby's diaper. Change diaper. Then put Coco in the crib. And then you need to go to the bathroom and go back to bed yourself. And then Luke. Uh, Luke, you also need to use the bathroom and go sleep in your lean-to. Go sleep in your lean-to, child. Um, I like some seafood. It depends. I live in a I live in a very inland place, so getting good seafood here is very difficult. But anytime I visit a coastal state, that I always eat seafood. I love shrimp and scallops and fish. Oh, the kid's gonna overheat! Dang it! Okay, get up, get up, get over here and cool down, and then go to sleep. Cool down, and then go to sleep. No, cool down! I said, cool down! I say. Aw, oh, hey, Cozy Girl Simmer. Glad you could make it. I don't like clams. I don't either. I don't like oysters, clams. I don't like anything that comes in a shell like that. Not crazy about it. I'd love to come to Maine and have your seafood. I'm not also... Also, I don't like lobster. I don't like it. It tastes too fishy to me. I love... So, what, what people eat a lot here is catfish because we, like I said, we don't have a lot of, like, ocean seafood. But we have catfish and bass and stuff, too. Um, oh, I got a save game again two minutes ago. Let me save the game. And I got a hydrate from Kira. They can't die directly from heat stroke, but they can pass out and die if their needs get too low while they're, while they're passed out from heat stroke. But your other favorite seafood place got damaged by waves from the storm? Wow. Oh, thank you so much. I need to get that mod. Um, Thimnopi, I don't know if that's how you say that, posted a mod for improvements to body temperature and it fixes the issue of them overheating while in an indoor bed. Okay, I gotta get that. 
Let me, I'm putting that on the list. Because that is going to help a lot. My pin's not working. Body temperature mod. Thank you. I will get that for sure. Okay, that would help a lot if they weren't overheating just from sleeping, you know? Okay, he needs to go to sleep now. He's cooled down. You were watching a documentary about the families of shooters, killers, etc. One woman reminded you of all of Spectre as she gave three of her husbands arsenic and killed them. She got the death penalty. Three? She did it three times before she got caught? Ugh. Lobster brain? Ooh. That sounds horrible. I don't want to eat any lobster brain. <laughs> That sounds really bad. Alright. Oops. Somebody's waking up. Who's waking up? Oh, you're having a heat stroke. Of course. You're waking up to have a heat stroke. That's great. That's fantastic. Uh, maybe cold can douse you. Douse him. Douse him. Get over here and douse your husband. Your husband needs to be doused. Douse! Am I missing it? Why can I not douse him? No, don't go. Douse! I can't do it! She's about to pee her pants. Okay, hold on. Hold on. You go to the bathroom. You get over here and cool down. I guess he didn't He didn't faint. <laughs> so she couldn't douse him. Hello, Princess Blue Regard. He cooled down on his own. Enough to not pass out. But now he's going to cool down in the water. And Cold, what are you doing over here? She, y'all, she did not get prego, did she? Wow, that's crazy. She had a day off from being pregnant. Good for her. Well, you know what that means. It's business time. Once he gets cooled down enough, they are going to go in here before the kids wake up. Okay, the kids are waking up. Kids having a heat stroke. All right, get out of the water. It's the kids' turn. Get out of the water. Luke, get over here and cool down. They just take turns to get in the water to cool down. And these two. Okay, what? Oh no, she is pregnant. She is pregnant. Never mind. She totally is. Yep. Yeah, all right. So she's going. To, is she going to puke? Yep. She. I like how she just nonchalantly walked over there. Like, I think I have to puke. I'll walk slowly to the toilet. <laughs> so they don't have to woohoo today, unless they want to, or they don't really. Uh, so she needs to take a shower and she needs to get some food. I'm gonna actually have her cook some more berry oatmeal just so they have some more food in stock. Another drink in the making. Okay, so we need to do a prediction now. And are you over here overheating? I hope not. No, you're okay actually for the moment. The baby's okay. The baby's gonna turn to a toddler today. But we need to do a prediction. Nathan, can you do a prediction? Boy or girl for the baby. What are we going to have? Remember, they already have one boy and one girl. Our little Luke is our little non-binary child. How, what do you call Luke who has a heat stroke? Lukewarm? I think he's more Luke. I think he's hotter than lukewarm. Alright, he's cooling down a bit. I'm going to let him stay in the water until she finishes cooking breakfast. You're betting big money so you can have enough to beg for a gift sub? <laughs> Margarita drinks. Oh, I like margarita. If we have a girl, that's good. Tea. Okay, come on. Get out and come eat your breakfast. Come eat your breakfast. You come eat yours too. Oh, you don't even need to eat. Well, you go ahead and get up anyway. Come use the bathroom. He needs social so badly. So what does he want to do? All he wants to do is nature stuff. But he needs social, so I'm going to have him... Uh, talk to his lady. Margarita's good. Yeah, that sparkling food. That's, that's, that's the good shit. <laughs> Oolong! <laughs> Tepid! Um, the prediction's not up. Yeah, hold on. Nathan may not be with us for the moment. Here, I'll do it. Hi, Katarina. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Uh, we already have Coco. That's our baby's name. Our baby's Coco. Um, let me do a prediction. 
uh, start a prediction. All right, gender of baby, boy or girl, you got 10 minutes to put in your predictions there, guys. There you go. Oh, the kid, oh, he does have the learn to want. Let me, thank you for telling me that. I unlocked that so he can get a different one. Although in this time period, we don't really spend a lot of time on their wants. They don't have a lot of time for their wants. The baby's crying. The kid's okay for the moment. So why don't you help out around the house? Put leftovers away. And he cannot get the, dang it. I guess I didn't download the right part of the mod that lets him get bottles out of there. He can get child meals, but he can't get a bottle. So I, there were like a lot of different versions of the mod and I was in a hurry. So I think I didn't download the right one. Dang it. Aw, you're making a custom hood? That's so much fun. Good luck with it. Llama Corn Cove, I love it. The ba They have one boy and one girl already. That's all they have. Uh, okay. Now, the boy was born first and then they had a little girl. So he's gonna help out do some chores. You need to come over here and take care of the babby, I think. I think, nope. She needs to be nursed. So, oh, you need to talk. Is he trying to talk to his son? He is. Oh, he's trying to swing him around. Okay, we'll let you do that. He's trying to do his chores, though. Give him a second. There you go. Swing him around. Swing him around. And then she was cool. She's cooling down. So we, the baby's just going to have to cry for a minute. Because she's got to get cooled down before she can go nurse the baby. If I had to pick any fun drink other than Jack and Coke, what would I pick? Um, I used to... Uh, Long Island iced tea used to be my drink of choice. Oh, Maddie Braddy, thank you so much for the three months at Tier 1. I really appreciate that. Yeah, Luke's outfit is so cute, isn't it? That's what he chose to wear, and I love it. <laughs> okay, are you done? You're still not cooling down? She Because she was taking a shower. Cool down. Okay, he's going to have to feed the babby. He's going to have to... Can I not get a bottle? Oh, do I have to click on the baby? I'm trying to click on you! Oh, because you're the- Wait, wait, what? I don't understand what's happening. Come hold the baby. Come hold the baby. Uh-oh! We're getting our baby bump. We're getting our baby bump. And she's got a modern swimsuit on now. So the baby will be born Saturday at 11 a.m., y'all. Yeah, Long Island iced tea used to be my drink of choice, but I would only need to drink like two of them, so it really keeps your bar tab down. <laughs> gin? Gin for a boy? Okay, what are we what are we doing? Are you still overheating? Yes. Please go cool down. Please go cool down. He's taking care of the baby. You go cool down. Maybe it's just that I can't get bottles out of this fridge? Is that it? No, that can't be it. Feed bottle to Coco. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't showing up before. He's gonna go feed a bottle to Coco so that she can cool down. Ginny! I love Ginny! Oh, that's perfect, Gabby! G-I-N-N-Y. Ginny! <laughs> I love that! Or Bailey. Yeah. We could do Jack or Ginny. I think that's what we should do. Jack or Ginny. <laughs> Aw, hi, PhD Simmer. Your friend had goats named Jenny and Juice. Okay, you know what you need to do now. Change that diaper. Jack Daniel. <laughs> Jack or Jenny, that's what we're going to name the kid. All right, cuddle your child and then put her in the crib and let's check in on everybody else. You need to eat. She's, I think she's still cooling down over here. I'm just going to let her stay in the water because all of her other needs are okay. And Luke is doing fine. He's going to need to take a nap soon. He's also getting super hot. Uh, can you sit in the lounge? I, I think it should cool you off if you sit in the lean-to. But apparently it does not. Those mom water drinks are great. It's like flavored water with vodka, no fizz. Hmm. Great if you get heartburn due to CO2. I have never had one of those before. I assume they have a lot of sugar in them. 
Oh, Volpecula said Jenny first. Oh, okay. Thank you for telling me. Thank you, Volpecula. That's a great idea. I love it. Frosty. I want them to sound like kind of regular names. <laughs> I like Jack or Jenny. We're going to do that. Sangria is pretty good, too. Um, have my Sims 2 gameplay rules changed at all recently? Not really. I'm still using the same rules that are on my website. Oh, I gotta tell you guys this. So I play my personal game that I don't share. I'm playing my Perfect Pleasant View. I play it on my laptop at night sometimes when I'm watching TV. And last night, Nina had Dawn's baby and it was born with a green alien skin. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. It was so exciting. She had a little girl named Giselle. And she has the green alien skin, and I love it. And I thought it's so perfect for the story because now, every so she nobody ha can know that that's Dawn's baby, and nobody would think it was Dawn's baby. They're all gonna think it's an alien abduction baby. So that's how she's gonna explain that she had this baby, so that she and Dawn can keep their little secret love child on the down low. <laughs> I thought it was so perfect. Yeah. You had Dina's baby with Mortimer come out green. You told me that the other day, and I thought of that when it happened to me. I was like, oh my god, that's the first time it ever happened for me. Oh, look, he likes music and dance. I love that. He's going to be our little dancer. Luke's going to be our little dancer. I love it so much. It's possible because I'm using a Pleasant View where the genetics have been fixed. So Dina and Nina have a little bit of alien genetics and it can come out. Happy Sunday, Christina! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where is Luke? Luke, my little friend, you have got to get over here and cool down. All right. I know your dad's in here. We got to get him out. Oh, he's he's hot too. <sighs> You know what? Maybe both of them should go over. No, we can't go. We can't leave the lot while she's prego because it's going to mess up her time. I wish that I wish more than one of them could get in there at the same time. That would be great. Um, okay, we'll just have you come in here and relax on the bed and cool off inside for a minute. All right, your dad. He's still hot. I think he was taking a shower. Cool down. Don't just take a shower. Cool down. When are we going to change to the next time period? Um, I think I'm going to do it when these children become adults. I don't think I'm going to do their grandchildren because that's just going to take too long. Yeah, I bet Mo I bet Mortimer was really happy about that when he, he and Dina's baby came out green. <laughs> somebody needs to tend the garden too and somebody needs to fish. I'm just trying to keep them cooled down at this point. Where's cold? Okay, she's in the bathroom, but she is super tired, so I'm, she's cooled down. I'm going to have her go sleep. And then she's cleaning the bathroom. How nice. The kid still needs to get in the water, but we're going to wait until Hot finishes cooling down. All right, he's not cooled down to the green, but he's not on the verge of heat stroke. So I'm going to have him go tend the garden. It's time to harvest some squash. We're going to tend to this, tend to this. Time to harvest some radish or beets. And time to take care of our sickly ass uh, tomato plant. All right, now you can come cool down. He cooled down a little bit just from being indoors, but I'm gonna have him come get in the water. She's going to take a nap in her modern human swimsuit. Nobody knows where that came from. It was a gift from the watcher, okay? Um, is there a mod to make needs decay slower? I'm sure there is. But you can also just, if you give them... Oh my gosh, we gotta give him these too. I'm gonna give him this, uh, these right now. You can give them their points. It helps slow down need decay. In rules, it's the third generation becomes adults, but we will change it for the purpose of the stream. Yes. Um, I think I'll do it when the first... Or ha I think I'll do it when the first generation has kids or something. We'll come up with a rule. Just because it's gonna take so long. Yes, and I'm going to have to take some time to get the uh, custom content for the next era as well. Yes, Nathan, you're absolutely right. And I will add links to all the custom content I find on my website too, uh, under the, the gameplay rules for Test of Time. Uh, hello, Marius. Hello, Ashen Winds. I'm so glad you could join me. Ooh. 
so our baby's going to be born on Saturday. What time did I say? 11? Historic pregnancy jammies. Yes. Lots of castaway stuff can still be used. Yes, that's true. Hendrix says, I managed to get through two stages into two years, but I was seriously addicted and didn't stream it. <laughs> We're going to sit here till the end of the world. You should do it, Gabby. Gabby says, I'm thinking about getting blonded red streaks in my hair. It's yeah. the mid to late 2000s all over again and no one can stop me. Do it! <laughs> and, yeah, Luke would rather shower than fish. He has not fished at all for this family. He needs to go, he needs to go rest. I'm just trying to keep everybody from having a, hot, a heat stroke. All right, now you need to stop tending the garden Ooh, and go minute. cool down again. Whew. And then poor Coco. Nobody's been paying attention to her. She's just laying over here in the hot-ass sun. But she's all right. She's going to age up to a, chi to a t uh, toddler in just a couple hours, which kind of sucks. Disgrace! Can't wait till the Roman times. I know, me too, because I've been watching... So, we just finished watching Rome, the miniseries, the HBO miniseries, which is so good. Oh, I highly recommend it. It is so good. And then now we're watching Spartacus. So, I'm, like, so into, like, the Roman time period right now. <laughs> You're on your fourth generation. Tramp94 says, I'm on my fourth generation of my custom neighborhood, and it's so much fun. Unfortunately, now kids are all starting to be related, so it's going to be over soon. Yeah, that happens. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Eva Vex, for uh, watching me live for the first time. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, there goes little Twig. Twig, come back. Twig, my friend. This could be a good friend for Luke, but he's asleep. I'm sorry. He can't come out to play now. He's exhausted. Sorry, Twig. I feel like Twig's always showing up on the, on the lots with kids. We need to find a group of CC creators who would help us with CC. I wish. Are you done with these, with the plants yeah. yet? Don't inspect them. You were supposed to be going to cool down. Thank you. Do as you're told, hot. Do as you're told. <laughs> so in our world, we are going to bring in new sims every time we change uh, to the next time period. That way, not everybody will be related to each other. So we'll create a new sim to bring in, bring a little fresh blood in. Every time we change to the next time period. Cool down, my friend. Cool down. Let's check on cold. She's doing alright. I'm gonna go ahead and wake her up now. I'm gonna go ahead and wake her up. Let's have her get some food. Nobody has fished in this family in so long. We need to get some fish over here. He has to spray the tomato. Oh yeah, he needs to spray it. Did I have him spray? No, I didn't. Spray. Thank you. Go spray your tomatoes with that. Look, he's got like modern poison. I love that. That's great. Okay, it's six o'clock. So our babby should be aging up, y'all. Yeah, that's a good idea to do for custom neighborhoods too. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Our little girl Coco is going to age up. Come on. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, well, let's nurse her. See if that helps. Fulfill her needs. <laughs> Gotta go shovel your driveway? Alright, good luck. She's gonna nurse the baby. He's, a, he's still over here at the garden. Stop gardening! Stop gardening! You're gonna have a heat stroke. Let's go use the bathroom. And Luke is going to go... What are you doing? Cleaning up? Oh, he's so helpful. And you also need to go to the bathroom. And he wants to tell an inside joke to his dad. No, nursing is a mod. Okay. Is she done? Stop nursing. That's enough nursing. Now cuddle her. Let's get her needs all met. And hopefully you shall age up. Oh, Come on, age her up, age her up. Oh, help with birthday, okay. Help with birthday, here we go. Come on. 
Come on! Okay, it's not working. Alright. Put Coco in the crib. Forget it. She'll age up eventually. Go cool down. You're cooled down enough. Go you- Oh look! Hot finally is over here fishing! Thank goodness! And then you go sleep in the lean-to. Please catch some fish for us. He's tired and he's hot, but he's like, man, I gotta fish for the family. I gotta get us some fish. He hasn't had- The last time he went hunting, he only caught one little rabbit, which was only enough for one serving of stew. <laughs> Hi, Mama Jacks 5 I'm so glad you stumbled across my live, too. Thank you for joining me. Oh, yeah, maybe I should put them on the ground. That's a good idea, Annie Shell. Um, I'll have her do that before she, once she gets done cooling down. Are you catching us some fish or what, buddy? Huh? We need some fish. Oh, also, let's sell these beets. We've got squash. We just need um, fish to make our bass and squash meal. Okay, so Luke is going to sleep. Cold is over here. Cooling down. She's alright, I guess. I'm gonna have her come and put the baby... Let Coco out. Come on. Come on. You wonder what would happen if you have one guy in Sims 3 who tried for babies with literally everyone in town and have like 30 plus kids in one generation. I don't know. That'd be crazy. Oh, change diaper! Change diaper! Okay. She's still not helping with birthday, so put Coco here. All of her needs should be met now. Yeah, the hood would die out because all potential partners are half-siblings. Yeah. They could- they would just have to, like, marry all the tourists and, like, paparazzi and stuff. You have a pupper using your butt as a pillow. <laughs> okay, I think she's gonna age her up now. Come on. Yay! Coco! Oh, she's got blonde hair. Oh, she's she's gonna look like her mama. She's got blonde hair and... Oh, she's got the violet eyes. She's got blonde hair and violet eyes. How pretty. How pretty is that? Look at her little hairstyle too. It's so cute. Okay, so she we're gonna look at her personality. She's super hot, by the way. So she is also an Aries like her brother. She's gonna be a popularity sim as well. She's super outgoing. Do they have the same they have a very similar personality? <laughs> she's more outgoing. She's max outgoing. And she's a little bit neater than him and a little bit more active, or more or less, a little bit less active and a little bit more serious, but she's super nice. She does look like Pebbles. She does. She is cute, but she's super hot. So she needs, let me check on her needs. Okay, she needs fun. So what I'm going to have, put her down, put Coco here, and then we're going to have her go inside and play with her toy so that she can cool down inside. And she needs fun anyway, so that'll be perfect. All right, you go in and play. And let's check on the rest of the family. Okay, he's about to have a heat stroke out here. He caught a fish. He caught a bass. Oh, thank goodness. Receive a friendly hug. Stop fishing. Your child wants to give you a friendly hug. Someone get that lady some aloe. I know. Aw, friendly hug. I know you're tired, but give this kid a hug. Oh, okay. We'll hang out together. That's fine, too. Oh, he's telling him how much he loves his mom. He's like, I love your mother so much. That's so sweet. Hey, Carrie Cat Mom, glad you could be here. Okay, he's gonna, he's seriously gonna pass out and die. Okay, we gotta do something. You, what are you doing? You're taking a shower? Oh my god. The heat strokes, y'all. The heat strokes. It just gets out of control, you know? Alright, what are you doing? Are you done taking your shower? All right, now you gotta now you gotta cool down, cause she. So we're gonna prioritize cooling her down because she's the one who's pregnant. Huh. You can use the bat box to lower the temperature outside. That seems cheaty, but I'm tempted to do it. It seems cheaty as hell though. Normal heat from hell, grip of winter. Let's just change it to normal for a second. Okay? It is cheaty, but I don't care. 
Because I feel like we're currently in the heat from hell stage. Yeah, I'm going to have him go dr get a drink of water to cool down. And then maybe he can go to sleep. You just go ahead and go to sleep. Oh, you're going to fish? Okay. Fish a little bit then. Fish a little bit for us. This is the first time he's taken an interest in fishing. I think it's because he saw his dad fishing and he wants to try to bond with him over it. That's so sweet. Yeah, I'm going to change it to summer, spring, summer, spring. Can I do that from here? I don't know. Is there any way for me to do that from here? You never saw that. It's naturally cooling down outside. Yeah. No, they don't die from heat stroke. It's just annoying as hell. Uh, thank you so much, Angel Fell, for the three-month Prime sub. Thank you so much. Okay, so she's done cooling down. We have to take care of her other needs because she is prego. So let's have her get some food, go to the bathroom, and then she's going to go to bed. Let's check on little Coco. Little Coco Pebbles. <laughs> yeah, they don't die of heat stroke, but they can die if their needs get too low while they're passed out from heat stroke. Kind of like freezing, too. I don't know if Season Setter will work to change the seasons. I think it just sets... Where is my season thing? Season and weather controller. Let's see. Oops, you can't use that. Yeah, I can set the season. Like, I could make this spring, but I want... That's not what I want to do. I want the next season to be spring. I think I have to do that out in the um, neighborhood screen. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Postibrio. I think I can, you can only do it in the neighborhood screen. I don't know of a cheat to do it. Uh, okay. You you go ahead and eat the last of the fish there. Coco gained a skill point. Good for her. And she is tired. So, as soon as Cold finishes eating, we're going to put Coco in the crib. And then she's going to go to sleep. Where's our little Luke at? Oh, he is so tired. Did he catch anything? Not yet. Oh, he just did! He caught his first fish! Alright, good job, buddy! What do we get? Yes, it's a largemouth bass, too. So helpful. Okay, you can quit that and you can go ahead and go to sleep. I know you're tired. Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Go to sleep! Yeah, I'm going to change it to spring, summer, spring, summer. That way they get a little bit of a break from the heat. And I get a little bit of a break from their heat strokes. Oh, okay, okay. I know you're trying to go to sleep. Here. Put Coco in the crib. Put Coco in the crib. Come on. And then you go to sleep and everybody's asleep. All right. We made it through another day, y'all. We made it through another day. And so it's Friday, so we have, she's going to get her second baby bump today, and then the baby will be born on Saturday. The kids are the money makers in this challenge, that is true. <laughs> I gotta hydrate, thank you. Thank you, Aga Sam. Different times. <laughs> Yeah, we'd have a round of summer than a round of spring, yes. That is correct. Um, I need to save, though. I haven't saved in a while. Let's save here. Oh, and you know what? Oh, never mind. I have RPC. I was like, I need to reset the sim rib the uh, ran genetic randomizer, and then I remembered I don't have to do that. My nose is itchy. Oh, no. Coco's awake. You can get out. Get out by yourself. You can get out. She's cooled down, too, thank goodness. Don't wake everybody up, though. Here, just go... I don't know. I don't care what you do. Hot can wake up soon and get her a bottle. There, she's gonna play with her toy. And she's gonna need to eat soon. There's nothing we can do about her bladder. She's gonna have to use her diaper, and then we'll change the diaper. <laughs> all right so let me see here hot drinks you go ahead and get up it's almost 6 a.m you go ahead and get up and um get a bottle for coco coco you stop playing with your thing and eat 
your thing, your toy. Uh, Cold is awake. She's actually doing okay for the moment. No, don't leave the baby alone. He's already getting a bottle for her. Oh, you're just giving her a little tickle. That's fine. He's just giving her a little tickle. Um, I'm going to have Cole. We're going to go ahead and just start taking care of any of her needs that are a little bit low. Yeah, I hate that the toddlers always wake up crying regardless of their needs, too. And you need to go get some breakfast. No, let her... Let her eat. And then Luke is still sleeping. He'll wake up soon and get some breakfast too. He's not too hot today, thank goodness. Alright. As soon as he wakes up, go get leftovers. What are you doing? Call oh, she's gonna go fish! Yes! She's gonna need to eat again. Very soon. But we'll let her fish for a few minutes. And oh, the baby needs her diaper change. We'll let Hot do that. Um, change a diaper after you get done washing the dishes. Look at Hot's cloth. Fashionable. <laughs> yeah. He's got the best of the prehistoric fashion. Cold has gained enthusiasm in nature. Change the baby's diaper. What are you doing? Oh, you're hungry. Okay, go eat. She, she also likes Hot's loincloth there. She's like, oh yeah, looking good. And then the baby's fine besides that. She's going to need to take a nap soon. Uh, why don't you give her a little cuddle? Give her a little snug. Aww, look how cute. Oh, I got to get a screenshot of her, too. That's not a very good screenshot. That's kind of cute. Because she looks super happy. Aww. So cute. She's cold. Yeah, cold's in her prego jammies. I know. And then what oh, else? You need to go to the bathroom. I almost feel like I'm playing Sims 1 because I'm just constantly caring for everyone's needs and it's like so hard to keep them all alive. Oh my god, Wendy would be a good name. Wendy drinks. <laughs> I love that. Wendy. I was gonna do Jenny. Jenny and Wendy Wendy are both good, but I think we might have to change it to Wendy for the next one. They're gonna have lots more kids for us to name, don't worry. Yeah, they had engagement rings. They pounded them out of stone themselves. Out of mineral. I know, I'm surprised there's only been one death as well. Middle name copyright. You were talking to your Sims, your husband about Sims 1 and he didn't remember it being hard? It is super hard. I played it recently and it was hard. Uh, okay, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. You're doing fine. And what's he eating? Did he get a piece of cake? Cake does not exist, child. You're not supposed to have cake. I don't know where he got that cake. He just got it himself out of the fridge. <laughs> it's like, I want a piece of cake. I will, I will make it exist. I will manifest it into existence. She invented it, yeah. Okay, so if you need to stop playing with the kid. Oh, they're gonna go woohoo now. Okay, that's fine. I guess go ahead. It's not necessary for procreation, but whatever you guys wanna do. A time traveler gifted it. And Luke, uh, you know what? You can go. Oh, he's going to talk to his sister. Oh! Baby bump number two. What is he doing? Oh, he's teasing his sister. Oh, Luke. Don't be a jerk. He wants to talk to Cole. He wants to meet someone new. I need to watch out for kids walking by. But what he's going to do now is go fish. And then these two, I guess they got their woohoo interrupted by her baby bump. So she's going to go take a shower. And then, why don't you come out here and fish as well? Oh, is he still trying to relax? No, he's like, alright, that's cool. We'll just go fish instead. So, he and Luke are going to come out here and do some fishing together. And then, little Coco, she's getting tired, but she's going to go inside and play for a bit. And then, after Cold gets out of the shower, we'll have her put Coco in the crib. 
I'm so excited for our Babby! So it's either Jack or Wendy. Which, those are the names of the characters in uh, The Shining, by the way. Jack and Wendy. Aren't they? Is that right? Maybe I'm wrong, but I think so. Baby Bump really ruined the mood. It did. It did. Wait, why did she put her clothes on? Cold! She's like, it's so hot, I don't even care anymore. Oh my god, put your clothes on! I'm gonna have to have her go take a shower so she'll put her clothes on. Hot diggity dog! She naked! <laughs> Walking around. Nobody cares back then. I mean, we're gonna run out of prehistoric sounding names. So I don't mind doing some more common ones as long as they go with the theme of the last name. Because, I mean, his, his name is Luke, you know. Coco. You'd all be naked back then, I know. The neighbor just got an eyeful when he passed by. You get to the next stage in the challenge when uh, you get to it. Like, she still did not put on her clothes. She's just over there like... Letting it all hang out. You get to the next stage uh, whenever you get to a certain point in time. So it's originally the third generation is when you would switch. But we might do it sooner. And Luke just caught us a boot. We can sell that. Let's sell the boot. Alright. He's doing okay for the moment. You're doing alright. Ooh, you caught another fish. Yes, please be something other than a bass. We have enough bass. I need. We need something we can sell. Uh, blue catfish, we can sell that. All right, yes. Hmm. Boots weren't invented yet. Yeah, they don't know what they are. They catch this thing, they're like, I can't do anything with this. What is this thing? <laughs> He's out there inventing everything. Cake, boots. <laughs> I don't know why there's a boot there. I don't know. Cold, you can thank you so much for tending the garden, Cold. That's very good. Good work. Um, this one, this one needs to be, oh, that, that tomato plant is dead. We did terribly with the tomato plant. You can tend the rest of them. Tend the rest of them. There we go. And then, she also needs to go to the bathroom. She got some strawberries, we can put those in the fridge. And then she needs to go take a little nappy nap. These two are still out here. Oh, he caught another fish! He's catching all the fish, yes! What did you catch? Yes! Another blue catfish for us to sell for 49 simoleons. Luke is the queer fashion icon, yes. He's the founder of fashion. Uh, what happens when I go to the children's school tab? It just says that they're a public school student, but they never go to school. She's going to take a nap, y'all. We've got less than a day until the baby's born. I'm so excited. I hope it's a girl, but if it, we should name her Wendy, but with an I. I think that sounds more uh, prehistoric, right? The toddler's up. Oh. All right. Well, she's fine though. She doesn't need anything. Maybe she'll just go play with her toy. Her single toy. And I'm, I'm trying to keep an eye on these guys. He hasn't caught anything else, but he needs to go take a shower. So stop. Stop with your fishing. Have you caught anything for us? He caught two largemouth bass. That's great. I'm still watching for... I wish Twig would uh, walk back by so Luke can meet him. <laughs> Wendy. Wendy. Hello, Maple. Oh, he caught another boot. Yes. Good child. Catching all the boots. I don't know if I can make the house bigger. We only have 465 simoleons. I don't know if that's enough. Somebody told me how much it was to expand, and I can't remember. But they're doing okay with the temperature since I cheated now, anyway. Wendy. W H E N D H E I G H. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's enough either. There's Autumn. Hello. Goodbye. 
Hot's gonna put some clothes on now. Don't worry. He's gonna put his his cloth back on. So, actually, I think I'm gonna send him hunting now. I think this will be the perfect opportunity for him to go hunting and see if he can catch some more meat for us. Catch some more meat. You know what I mean. <laughs> 420 to add four more squares. So, we have 480. So, that would be enough to put a bed in there. But then we'd also have to buy the bed, which we don't have enough for. Yep. So, and a wall. Yes, and also uh, wall paint and stuff. So I think we need to save up a bit more. What do you... Did you catch anything else? No. Okay. You've done enough fishing for today. Thank you very much. Go stock the fridge with your fish. He wants to talk to his mom, but she's busy sleeping over here. She can wake up now, though. We'll wake up and we'll have them have a little chat. He needs his mother's... He needs some motherly advice right now. Yes, they eat the fish that they catch. Right now, they can, they only are able to cook the bass because they aren't... That's the only uh, recipe that they have right now for their skill level. Window for a boy. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, sweet tea. All right, Cold, uh, what are you doing? Can she not get out because of Coco? Coco, go crawl outside. Crawl outside into the light of day. There you go. And Cold, why is the lamp not on? That's weird. Uh, you need to come outside because your kid needs to talk to you. So just come out here for a minute, please. And you're fine. Okay, come talk to your mom. Talk no. Well, why did you walk over there and then act shocked? Chat to your mother. There you go. He's talking about aliens. He's like, I saw something in the sky. I am not naming a girl alcoholica, Lita Lita. <laughs> Boozy if it's a boy. You don't get windy for the theme of drinks. The hot drink song that we always sing on this channel is from Wendy's uh, training video from the 80s. So that's where that came from. Hot drinks really gets you going. That's what this family's named after. <laughs> chug drinks. I mean, Chug does sound like a prehistoric name. We could go. I like Chug. Chug is better than Jack. Chug or Wendy? <laughs> oh, I love that they're having a chat here. That's really cute. Oh, the baby needs her diaper change. Well, she, we can't do anything about it yet. And Hot is out there hunting. Hopefully he catches more than a single rabbit this time. Chug, chug, chug. Chug is prehistoric Chuck. I love it, Hendrick. <laughs> chug and Wendy. And we'll use Jenny next time. And we'll use Jack eventually, too. Where's my water? Oh, directly in front of my face. I wish we could listen to it, too. We can only listen to my version of Hot Drinks if somebody plays it. Hot has returned from a successful hunt. Crap, he only caught one rabbit again. Well, let's go ahead and make the stew. And this time he's going to give the stew to his pregnant wife. Okay, he's not going to eat the stew himself this time. He's super tired. Actually, he's he's just going to go straight to sleep. He's going to go straight to sleep. We'll have her go and... We'll have her go and cook it. A single plate of stew. Who's, who's gardening? Who was just gardening? I don't even know who did that. Was that you, kid? Yes, the kid was gardening. Oh, that's so sweet. What is he doing? Teasing his- he's teasing his sister again. He and his sister do not get along at all. I think he's jealous. I think he's jealous of his sister, y'all. That's sad. Uh, she does need her diaper change, but we can't do it quite yet. We have to let her get a little stankier. I know, Luke, stop being mean to your sister. Jeez. He can't help himself. Uh, so he's sleeping and she's over here cooking the rabbit that he brought back. But it's just, it's such a little rabbit, it only made one serving. <laughs> yeah, he caught a rabbit. No, he had already dressed the rabbit out in the woods. 
and uh, brought, he brought it back all dressed and everything. That's why it was on the little tray. <laughs> and she's gonna eat the stew. He let her have the stew this time. <laughs> Tasty drinks. Stanky? No, I'm not naming the baby Stanky. <laughs> Okay, now she needs her diaper change. After Cole finishes eating, she's gonna change her diaper. Let her eat, please. And what are you doing over here, kid? You need to get some food, too. Um, or any, do any of these things exist? No. So get leftovers. Oh, he was trying to go clean up the dirty diaper. He's like so helpful. He's always doing stuff. Nobody even has to ask him. He's always like gardening, fishing, cleaning things up. <laughs> Hot drinks sound should be an option to it's I think it's a paid option though. I think I don't think it's a, a points option. Expired drinks. <laughs> Are you changing the baby? Be asked to change diaper. Oh, she's like, please change my diaper, mommy. And Coco. Uh, she needs to go... I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put... No, let's get her a bottle first. Let's get her a bottle and then we'll put, we'll put her to bed. That way we don't have to worry about her for a while. And then cold, you need to go to the bathroom and then you need to go to sleep. So you get her a bottle, use the bathroom, put her in the crib, go to sleep. And Luke, I know you're trying to... Oh, thank you so much, Shaney Brooke, for the cheer. Thank you. Uh, you need to get some leftovers. Is she drinking her bottle? Yes, she is. Okay, great. All right, I gotta hydrate. So let me hydrate here for Jess Seeger. And then Kira got a reading to save game. So let me save game. Good idea. Moldy drinks? Oh, no, not moldy drinks. Look, he threw the bottle away. He's like the most helpful kid we've had. You There's my hot drinks, okay? <laughs> you need a sound for hydrate? Yeah, that would be good, like a little splash sound or something. Uh, what are you eating? You're eating modern foods again! Instant meal does not exist! I was trying to make him get leftovers. Ugh. Well, that's alright. You go to sleep. You eat your modern meal that you just found this can somewhere. Oh, I like Spike, Lita Lena. That's good. I like Spike. I don't know what's better, Spike or Chug. Spike or Chug, what should we do for a boy? I'm gonna have to do a poll on that. I mean, Chug's funnier. Chug, Spike, Jenny, and Wendy. Chug first. Okay, everybody say Chug first. But I gotta write these down because these are good. These are good names for the future. For the drinks family. Drinks. Spike. And Jenny will be our next kids. And this will be Chug or Wendy. Do we have a Spike for another family? Do we? I do need a spreadsheet for the name ideas alone. I don't remember a spike. Chug is funnier and less predatory. I guess that's true, Gemstone. Refill drinks. Slurp and chug. <laughs> that's what we're gonna name our prehistoric prehistoric children. Slurp and chug. Um, I, okay, I'll let him fish for a little bit before he goes to sleep. He wanted to fish some. Okay, what's happening over here? You're waking up in the middle of the night. And you're gonna go take a shower in the waterfall. Sounds lovely. A lovely moonlight moonlight shower in the waterfall. Look, isn't it a beautiful night? There's the moon up there. It's lovely. Yeah, Spike would be good for uh, the Spears family. Yeah. Uh, Shay Shay Bubbles, you can find that on my website if you go to PleasantSims.com and go to the Sims 2 gameplay rules. Um, it's in there. About how many children they can have. I'm pretty sure it's in there. I better double check. 
but I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... Sims 2 gameplay rules. Um, let's see. Fertility, birth control, population. It's under fertility, population, which for some reason the link is not working there. Yeah. It's, it's in my Sims 2 gameplay rules, which I'll just put it right here in the chat for you. There's a link right there. <laughs> Hope that helps. Thank you, Hendrick. You're welcome. Jack and Danny drinks. Oh my gosh, I hope we don't have twins. I hope we do not have twins. Okay, you need to go to bed, kid. You go to sleep. And we'll take care of your needs. You need to use the bathroom. Get yourself some porridge. Cold is still sleeping away over here. We're just going to let her sleep. And Coco's doing fine. This family has actually not been too bad once we got the heat under control. It was the heat that was really kill killing us. The song admittedly hits the brain. <laughs> Body shop crashes? Do you have a video on how to fix it? Um, I don't think so. What do you mean by crashes? Just like crashing when you're using it? I don't think- I've had problems with body shop, but I don't think I've had that problem. This was less stressful than the grunts. It was. Oh, it won't load? Oh, what you have to do is go into task manager and close it out that way and try again. And I can't remember if there's anything specifically that I did to fix it. Um... Nimurti says delete cache, delete cache files and thumbnails. Go to the file location and open directly from there. Yes, that's another tip. I remember that now. Yes, do not run it from a shortcut. If you're running it from a shortcut. It does take its sweet time to load. That's true. I don't think, I don't know if there's anything you can do about that. I remember having a lot of trouble with Body Shop, but eventually I got it. I think the trick that I did is to delete cache files and then uh, run it directly from the from the location where it is on your computer, not from a shortcut. If that doesn't work, I don't know. Does Graphics Rules Maker work on Body Shop? I didn't know that. You get a message showing it crashed? I don't think I've had that happen. I'm sorry. Alright, what are you doing, buddy? Nothing useful. So get over here and fish. Fish for us. Fish for your family. Oh, actually, why don't you stock the fridge with your fish that you already have? With everything that you have, actually. You have some squash as well. And then get over here and fish. You always get purple soup on the Pleasant household? No, I don't. I haven't had that problem in a long time. No, he doesn't have affairs. They don't have time to have affairs. Like, we had one household where we thought it might be possible, but it's just so hard to even survive. Like, nobody has time to have affairs. And everybody has partners except we have one single male sim right now. <laughs> The clean UI version of Body Shop seems to load faster for you? Hmm. And did he catch a rainbow trout? We can sell that sucker. Oh yeah, another 87 simoleons. Everybody else is asleep, I believe, except for Coco. <laughs> and there's nothing she needs, so we're just going to continue fishing. The baby's going to be born very soon. I'm excited for another child to add to our world. He got a silver talent badge. Good for him. And, oh my god, there's a stinky skunk here. Get out of here, stinky skunk. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go away. St oh my god, stinky skunk is walking through the water. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Okay, Hot, what did you catch? Another rainbow trout. Yes. <coughs> oh my gosh. 
Hi, Sophie Sims. The water's spoiled. Skunks are here. Oh, he caught a boot. No, he didn't. He caught a fish. I thought he caught a boot. I love how the skunk keeps walking through the water. Uh, okay, we need to keep the bass. We gotta eat that. And nothing we can do for her. I guess we can put her in her crib. Put Coco in her crib. The skunk is a vibe. I know they're they got 669 simoleons. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. Come here. Chase off chase off the skunk. Do your duty. Chase chase this skunk away from your children. Get out of here, skunk. Get out of here. Shoot. Shoot. All right, good job, good job. Um, you know what, why don't you go hunting again? Just go hunting. Get as, we need to stock up on as much food as we possibly can. <laughs> All right. Okay, so time is passing by quickly now. I'm gonna keep my eye on cold. We're gonna make sure all of her needs are met because she's about to give birth here in just about five hours. We'll use the bathroom and have her take a shower, get her some breakfast. She's going to start preparing for this birth. Luckily, the children are asleep, so she has a few moments this morning in the dawn alone that she can take care of herself, do a little self-care. Oh my gosh, this turlet reeks, I'm sure. I thought I saw a stink cloud coming out, maybe not. I like the skunks, too. <laughs> Skunk as a name? No. <laughs> Henry Lestank. <laughs> I love that. <clears throat> I avoid any sim who comes to my house uninvited. You stink like a skunk NPC. <laughs> yeah, if you, it would have been so hard to be a mother back back then in these times. Yes, it would be very difficult. Yeah, but we're not doing the Ice Age because our Sims would die. We gotta work within the limitations of the game, you know? We gotta work with whatever we can do in The Sims 2. We're not trying to be 100% historically accurate. We're just trying to give ourselves some rules to populate the world. Uh, okay. Once you're done with that, go get yourself some food. Just a few more hours. Uh-oh, the baby needs something. She needs her diaper changed. Okay, as soon as we get done eating... Oh, somebody needs to cook. Uh, then she will come and change Coco's diaper. If there was a winter, this challenge would have ended immediately, yeah. Yeah, Peppy Le Pew would, be, would be a copyright right violation, so they had to go with Henry Lestank. <laughs> Which is way funnier. <laughs> Two more hours. Yeah, I'm sure you could do the Ice Age. You could you could probably fix and figure out a way to do it, but I don't want to. <laughs> I want it to be perpetual summer. It's like they're living in the Garden of Eden. He still just got one rabbit? That's all he ever gets is one rabbit. We need to increase his body skill so he can get an elk. Uh, Alright, let's get this out. Well, he needs to cook anyway, so I'll have him cook this stew. Or actually, he, he's got to go right to sleep. Or he's got to go get in the shower. Whatever. Cole's got to change the baby's diaper. And then I'll have her cook up that stew. Alright, you're not changing the baby's diaper. Change the baby's diaper. Is she stuck? Change diaper. I think she might be stuck. Dang it, she's stuck. Okay, hold on. There we go. Now, change her diaper. I know, the baby stinks. It's making you gag. Change your diaper! Okay, you go to sleep. You go to sleep then. Oh no, I've got multiple sims. You go to sleep. No, don't sleep there. Just go to sleep in the bed. Jeez Louise. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready for the next stage, too, but uh, it's going to be a little while before we get there. We're going to get her a bottle. And then why don't you go ahead? I know you're about to give birth in like an hour, but just go ahead and cook this rabbit stew. Because that's what you do in prehistoric times. You don't have a chance to rest. you got to be dressing rabbits in the backyard while you're waiting to give birth. 
<laughs> Cheese Louise as a name. <laughs> I know there's a stanky diaper laying around. There's always, there's multiple stanky diapers laying around. Oh, Luke woke up. Luke woke up and went straight to uh, fish. And you know what? It's his turn to eat the stew. I'm going to let him eat the stew this time. Uh, so, so hot had a stew, cold had a stew, and now Luke is going to get a stew. There we go. Now don't eat that. Don't eat that. That's for the kid. Come on over here and get your rabbit stew, child. Come on, Luke. Come get your rabbit stew. Hello. Hello, cold. She, she's looking good. About to give birth. Aww. Luke is so cute, y'all. I gotta get I gotta get more pictures of him. Close up. Eating his rabbit stew. I love it. <laughs> the expression she made, I know. He's gonna eat his stew. She's doing well. She's about to give birth any minute. She needs to put the baby down. Put the baby down. The heavy rain and wind there is making so much noise. Wow. I love it when they break the fourth wall sometimes and stare into your eyes. Stare into your soul, too. I love that. Nina did that to me last night when she was in the bathtub. It was really weird. She looked right up at me. I was like, okay, I'm not being a creep watching you bathe. <laughs> Here comes the bath. <gasps> Oh my god. I can't believe we have another set of twins. This is gonna be rough. We gotta buy another crib. Oh jeez. So what we get first? So they do not have brown hair. My this is bugged. They do not have brown hair. I don't know what color hair they have. That one has brown eyes though. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna look. We're gonna wait. I wanna be surprised. So, good thing we do have two boy and two girl names picked out. No, it's not red because it's it's a bug. The babies have brown hair because uh, Coco had the same brown hair when she was a baby and she aged up as a toddler with blonde, so I'm sure it's the bug now. Yeah. Okay, what did we get? A boy and a girl! We got a boy and a girl, so what are we naming them? Chug for the boy. And Wendy for the girl. We get to use both of the names. Chug and Wendy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Chug drinks and Wendy drinks. Here's little Wendy. Wendy has brown eyes. Wait, does she have brown eyes? Or violet eyes? I can't even tell. I think they're brown. Yeah, they're brown. So the eye color will be right. So they both have brown eyes. Only Coco has gotten the pretty violet eyes. Luke has brown eyes too, I believe. And I don't know what color. We're not going to know what color their hair is until they age up. He's so happy. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Chug was born first. Chug is the boy. So it's boy for the purpose of the prediction. So let me do your prediction now. 54% uh, of you guys said it was going to be a boy. So the firstborn was a boy. And let's uh, choose outcome boy. There you go. I did do a screenshot. I did a screenshot of uh, Luke. But I'll also do a screenshot of the babbies. And I'll also do a screenshot of all their children. Look at this. All the kids. <laughs> Baby in her arms, baby on the ground. We got a toddler. We got a kid. This is chaos over here. <laughs> she wants to have 10 kids. I'm going to lock it in because that might actually happen. Because they have to try for baby every day. So it might actually happen. Oops. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, 
Hold on. I want to put the... I'm trying to get a good screenshot. I don't know why I went into build mode. That was unnecessary. That was unnecessary. I'm trying to get a good screenshot of the baby. Another set of twins is born. Another set of twins. Oh my gosh. Another set of twins and our fashion icon, Luke. Yes. I know the way they hold their little arms. The Sims 2 babies are so cute. So actually, we've got to get another crib immediately. So, and I don't, I want a different color one. Let's do a green. Let's do that color. All right. Put that one there. And so we need cribs for all of them. I guess we don't need cribs for all of them, but I'd like to have cribs for all of them. Yes, they had twins, a boy and a girl. So we got little baby Wendy and little baby Chug. Chug and Wendy. <laughs> so yeah, now this family has four kids. And luckily Coco is going to be ch ch aging up to a child in three days. We still have three days of her being a toddler. And then, of course, two days for the baby. And luckily we have Luke around. He is the most helpful child sim we have ever had. Like, he's always helping out and we never have to ask him to. Um, so he's going to be very helpful, I think, with his little sisters and brother. We've got two boys, two girls in this family. Perfect. And how much time do we have left? We have one day. So this is our last day with them. So it's perfect timing. And let's just get everybody. You need to wake up. You've got babies out here. Come and come and see your new children. Come and see. He's like, what happened? She just gave birth to twins out here. Go cuddle, Chug. Oh no, it's hailing. It's hailing. And they just they just don't even care. Here, nurse the baby. Nurse Wendy in the hail. That sounds like a great idea. Oh, pick her up. Pick her up. Oh, I want to get a screenshot of both of them holding the babies. After she finishes nursing them, nursing the baby. Okay, stop nursing the baby so I can get a screenshot. Stop nursing the baby so I can get a screenshot. Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to set this up for a perfect screenshot. And I wanna get them next to each other. Here we go. Perfect. Yay! Oh no, it's not perfect. We have the, we have the... Now it's perfect! I'm also gonna make this a thumbnail. Another set of twins, y'all. Another set of twins. Okay, well, let me turn snap objects back on. Okay, now to get down to business. So she nursed this baby. Go ahead and nurse the baby again. And you are, we're going to have to feed some bottles to this baby. So get feed bottle to Wendy. I think he's got, no, he's got Chug. Feed bottle to Chug. Oh my God. Feed bottle to Chug. I can't believe we named our baby Chug. Your Lilith always has twins. My Lilith has not had twins. Okay. You guys feed the babies. And then you can give her a little cuddle. Put Wendy in the crib. No, not Wendy in the crib. Put Chug put Chug in the crib. You put Wendy in the crib. And let's check on our other children. Alright, he's oh of course he's over here gardening trying to help out. Aw, huh. That's so cute. Oh, Nina had twins for you? Wow. And what are you doing? What are you doing, child? You're doing fine. You probably need to go take a nap, though. So we'll get Dad to put you in the crib, Coco. And then he can go use the bathroom and start cleaning up this mess. No, don't give bottle to Coco. Clean it up. Clean it up. And then you need to go to the bathroom. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is our last day with this family, but wow, we really did make some progress. We made some good progress. 
What? Can you not get in the? Can you not? What are you doing? Get it. Get in the crib. Can you not put her in the crib? Oh. No, I didn't want to move the baby. I wanted to move the whole crib. There. How's that? Hopefully that baby doesn't get snatched by a wolf back there. Jeez. Put, no, don't hold Wendy! Put in crib Coco. Oh, I, I was telling them to put the baby in the same crib. That's what it was. It wasn't that they were touching, but that's okay. Your sims usually have girls with Dawn. That's so weird. My Nina had another girl by Dawn, too. Um, but Cassandra, in my personal game, uh, just had a boy with Dawn. In your game, the burbs always get twins? Really? I've never had them have twins either. Okay, hot. You go take a dump. I know that's what you need to do with yourself now, is go take a big old dump. My burbs had twins? Oh, Quinn and Odessa! <laughs> How could I forget them? Of course they did! Jeez. I always think about for their firstborn child. I wasn't thinking about all the kids they had after that. Um, yeah, they did have twins. That's true. In my personal game, though, they've never had twins. Only in that, uh, only in my Pleasant View uh, Let's Play did they have twins. <laughs> How could I forget twin and, Quinn and Odessa? I love them. So It's hard to keep up. I have so many Sims in that world. Okay, what are the- Oh, they're going to- They're going to relax! They're like, you know what? After we just popped out twins, the next thing we need to do is go woohoo. I don't- I think they're probably just gonna do a risky and not a try for baby, but let's see. We'll see what they do. Oh, he's over there fishing. What a great child he is. Well, yeah, I didn't forget Kevin. He's the one I think of when I think of them having kids, because he was their firstborn after Lucy, obviously. <laughs> Casual makeout. I know you're shredded after popping out twins, but I need a woohoo! <laughs> oh. Well, what are they doing? Are they going to do this or what? Well, he was just talking about money, and she and he didn't like it. Or they're not ha they're having a money s conversation. It ruined the mood. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? I'm just gonna have them try for baby right now. I don't know what they were trying to do, but it's time to try for another baby. <clears throat> you just started restarted Pleasant View, and you got Darren and Brandy married, and you're so excited for their kids. Yeah, they always have really cute kids when I get them together. <laughs> <laughs> Another baby. All right. Is everybody going to sleep? Where's our Luke at? He's over here fishing away, man. He loves fishing. What did he catch? Oh, he caught a boot for us. We can get rid of these beets. We keep the squash, though. He's making money for the family. Um, I do have a mod that replaces some turn-ons in the game, but I don't know whose mod it, it is that I use. I don't know which one it is that I use. I can't remember. Oh, God. So many babies crying. Okay. 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 Uh, let's see. Who's crying and what do you need? This one needs a diaper change. Come change Chug's diaper. Okay, Wendy's gonna need her diaper change soon. How's Coco? She's all right, for the time being. Hold, where are you going? Oh, he's le they're lecturing the baby. They're like, stop that racket. You're a prehistoric baby. Okay, you, no, change the diaper. What are you doing? Change the diaper. Change diaper. Oh my God, the crying. Change diaper. Don't lecture your baby. Oh, yeah, Luke can forget about sleep. That is the truth. We may have to expand the hut so that he can sleep inside and actually get some sleep. I'm trying to wait and, and not spend their money until absolutely necessary. He caught another rainbow trout. He's like, I need a bed indoors. I will catch as many fish as I must. <laughs> Please, let me sleep indoors, mommy and daddy. <laughs> I know, he's just over there quietly fishing. Okay, you can uh, nurse Wendy... And why don't you get a bottle for Chug? 
And let's check in on Coco. She's all right. She's going to need her diaper changed here in just a second. And then you can give Chug a little cuddle. And then put him back in the crib. And then it'll probably be time to change Coco's diaper. <laughs> Chug and Wendy! We had twins, Mike! We had twins! Baby Chug and baby Wendy. <laughs> Oh, yes, Nathan. We had twins. We had twins. Chug and Wendy. A boy and a girl. <laughs> I hope she didn't get pregnant with another set of twins. Oh, my God. Okay, so change her diaper. And then put Wendy in the crib. Oh, man. It's going to be never-ending. Just diaper changing, cleaning up after these kids. Here, clean all this up. No, why are you picking him up? Put him down. We gotta clean this mess up. And you, you need to go eat and get some sleep. Oh my gosh. Go get some leftovers. Somebody needs to cook. Actually, no, you need to cook. Serve some bass with squash, please. Whatever, I don't know what you're doing. Just go serve some bass with squash. And let's check in on Luke. He's gonna need to take a break from fishing. He caught more fish, another rainbow trout. Okay, the large mouth bass we're going to keep. But he needs to take a little bit of a break and go to the bathroom. And what are you doing, Hot? I know you're hungry, but why don't you go take a shower while she's cooking dinner? She's going to make some more fish. Somebody just left the babby on the ground. This is the last day. This is the last day um, that we play them. So as soon as it changes over to next summer, we'll be done. Which will be about perfect timing for the stream. <laughs> the next baby can be called refillable. No. No. Yep, the limit is still eight Sims per household. So they can really only have six kids. So I don't know why I'm locking in ten kids. Because realistically, I guess they can only have six. Maybe I should change it to allow twelve Sims. But that's going to be rough. Yeah, I'm going to change the seasons for next time. So next time we'll actually be pay playing spring. But right now I'm going to play through everybody's last summer round. And then when it starts over, we'll do spring, summer, spring, summer. So I need to change seasons. So I'm going to put that on my list of things to do before the next stream. Uh-oh. Somebody needs their diaper changed. Okay, you go eat. Luke is getting him. You don't. Oh, you're cleaning up is what you're doing? Don't clean that up. That's a good plate of food. I appreciate your enthusiasm, but uh, why don't you just put away the leftovers instead? How about that? How about that? Put them away. And then we've got babies that need diaper changes or something. Or nothing. I don't know what you need. Cuddle chug. Cuddle chug. Oh. Cuddle your chug. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to handle that yet. We'll wait and see like how many kids it looks like they're going to be able to have. Okay, chug is good. Put chug in the crib. Or does he need his diaper changed? Wait, 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 wait. Does he need his diaper changed? Nope, just put Chug in the crib. Let him get hit in the in his tiny little baby skull with hail raining from the sky. <laughs> Big Gulp. I am not naming the baby Big Gulp. Gulp and Chug. Okay, yes, I know you're exhausted. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. And this little one, she needs a bottle. Let's have Dad get her a bottle. And then Luke, how are you doing, my man? He needs social, so he's trying to talk to his dad. Poor little guy. He wants to make a friend. He's a popularity sim. He needs social. I haven't seen any more kids walking by. So I'm going to have him take a shower. And then he'll probably need to go to sleep. He got the bottle for Coco. Just put it down. Just put it down, Elegonda. And she needs to drink her bottle. And then she... No, don't. What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't. No, no, don't dispose of the bottle. She was trying to drink the bottle. Okay, no, I'm not having, no, you know what? This is not, poor babies. Oh, we did extend the roof though, didn't we? 
So they're covered. They're actually covered. I'm sorry. I forgot. Or was that the other family? That was the other family. Oh my god. Let's extend the roof over. Um, or no, that was in The Sims 3, I think, actually. <laughs> Somewhere I extended the roof and it's a really good idea. So we're just going to do that here. We're going to extend the roof out one so it covers the babies. Oh no, can't support the weight? Are you serious? Oh no, there it goes. Okay, great. So now the babies are actually covered. I don't feel so bad about them getting pel pelted by hail. And all right, so she needs to drink her bottle, which I brought inside for you. And then he needs to put her in the crib. And he's out here cleaning in the hailstorm. Okay, put in the crib Coco. And then Luke, you need to go get some sleep. I know you want to talk, but it's too late. You got to go to sleep now. Okay, now you go to sleep. Everybody's in bed. All right. We made it. Wait, why are you not going to bed? Go to sleep. Oh my gosh, is this a smart beds thing? There, let's try that. There we go, perfect. And let's save for sure after we made it through all that. <clears throat> There's too many shacks across the generations of the Sims, I know. <laughs> Um, I'm not going live tomorrow, Sophie. Um, instead, I'm doing Fridays instead of Mondays right now. Um, hello, eGame Fan One. Oh, I gotta hydrate. Let me hydrate. For Lewis. I'm not sure when the next test of time will be, but I will let you know. Uh, the Sims 2 Pleasant View video for Gia's wedding will be out tomorrow. Right now, my schedule's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I don't know what it's going to be in February, but that's what I'm doing for the rest of this month. It may stay the same. Okay, Coco. I guess you don't really need anything. I just want to check relationships. Oh, she doesn't have a very good relationship with her older brother. She's got a better relationship with her little baby twin brother and sister. You think Gia would be excited to age because she has been the same age for almost four years in real time? How is that? Um, yes, I, I'm not going to post the last live that I did last week, Akasha, but I will post the next two. Yes. Um, yes, I have lots. I have all my YouTube videos planned out for the rest of the month. And for the beginning of February as well. And I am doing a Life by You video. Within It'll be out within the next couple of weeks. I don't remember exactly when I had it scheduled. Um, but I am doing one. And I gotta do the last of my Agnes Crumplebottom videos. And <clears throat> I'm also gonna make some videos about my Sims 4 Pleasant View. And I have a couple other things in mind I wanna make too. Thank you, Gabby. Yes, I know. Early access is in March, and I want to get in on that. Uh, thank you, EA Game Fan. Okay, has it changed yet? Oh my god, change over to su next summer. Um, I would like to play early access on YouTube or stream. Yes, I would like to. I gotta look into how to even get early access. I don't even know if I'm gonna get early. I don't know like what the requirements are for that. Is it just that you have to pre-order or something? I don't know. I gotta look into it. Why did I pause? Because babies were crying. That's why. It's just through Steam or Epic you can pre-order now. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and pre-order then. I need to do that. <clears throat> so anybody can have early access. Okay, I see. Alright, then yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. Definitely gonna be streaming it and making videos on it. Absolutely. Both, probably. Uh, okay, so what do our babies need, and who can wake up and care for them? Okay, both of our parents can wake up and care for them. So come out here, you wake up, and you wake up. And Coco, she's fine. 
Waking up, Luke. You still need social. Steam doesn't allow pre-orders for early access, so I think it'll be available on release day for purchase. Okay, I'll have to look. I'll have to look into it. It's not on Steam for pre-order, but it's on Epic. Okay, I'll get it on Epic then. Whatever I can get it on, I don't care. Oh my god, please wake up and take care of these crying babies, please! Cuddle Wendy, and you come over here and cuddle Chug. Come on, come on! Ah! Uh. Alright, here, I'll help you out. I'll help you out, Hot. Just get out here. Alright? Cuddle Chug. Or did I tell you to cuddle Chug? No, don't take a shower! Cuddle Wendy! Oh, no, don't cuddle. Change diaper. Stop lecturing! Oh my god, your lecturing is so annoying. Alright, come over here and change these diapers. Probably should change the diaper before you cuddle. What? Why are you not taking care of this baby? What is wrong with you? Is he stuck or something? Are you stuck? Go! Change diaper. Why is he not doing anything? Go here. Okay, now change diaper. Aw, that was cute. I don't understand why he's not changing the diaper, y'all. Okay, fine. Try this. Since he won't do it. Oh my god, why is nobody taking care of this poor baby? I don't understand. Let me try to move his crib, maybe. Please, please. I don't understand. The baby's stuck. Okay. Um. How about that? It's probably because I accidentally moved the baby earlier. Now, let's see if we can change the diaper. Okay, that worked. Alright. That worked. Now put Chug in the crib. And then, let's... We're done. We're done. We're done. Huh. Whew. Let me save. Alright. <laughs> we made it through another, another family's round. So, I just want to quickly go out into the neighborhood here. The screaming is very uh, stressful. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think it was when I moved the baby. Yeah, that it got stuck. Mm -hmm. So next up, we will be playing Spears and we will have made another round. So we're going to be playing Spears throughout the last summer round. And then we're going to change the seasons to spring and we'll play a round of spring all the way around. Okay, so uh, that will conclude today's stream, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm glad that I was able to stream because I was worried at the beginning that Twitch was going to cause us issues. But it looks like we made it through. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me for another uh, test of time. So on next Sunday, I'm going to hopefully be playing my Sims 4 Pleasant View. So I hope you guys can join me for that and we'll see how it goes. It's an experiment, so I'm going to share it out with you. But I'll be back here Friday for Sims 3 Legacy Challenge and then Strange Town Saturday, of course. And I've got more videos coming out for you guys next week. Like I said, the next Sims 2 Pleasant View episode is coming out tomorrow on YouTube. And then I've got more videos next week as well. So thank you guys so much. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. And I'm going to start posting more on Instagram and Facebook. So make sure you uh, follow me there. And I will see you guys very soon. I, have, I hope you have a great rest of your weekend and a great week, guys. Bye. And thank you. Also, thank you so much for the subs and the cheers. I really appreciate all of those as well. Bye.